Hello friends, Tanya here for Spellbinders, and today I'm going to play with the April 2022 Glimmer of the Month kit. This one is called Glimmer Burst, and it has some gorgeous radiating foiling plate, a sun dye with the, the cute little spiky parts for the sun, and three gorgeous sentiments. I have taken a 5x7 piece of cardstock, and I'm going to use the foiling the roll of foil that came with this glimmer foil kit and I am going to foil that radiating burst all over the front of that cardstock. Next I'm taking the different sentiments that come in this kit and I'm spacing them so that I can die cut them out of the cardstock with the coordinating circle die. I'm using the same foil and I am adding it underneath each of these pieces while my Glimmer Hot Foil system preheats. And I'm just going to tack these down with the Best Ever Craft Tape. I love that stuff. And you can reuse those pieces over and over and over again until they start falling apart. I really love the sentiments in this kit and I love that they all fit in that circle. You're going to see some really cute ideas from other people that are using this and I use this in a couple of different ways today. Once I have them all secured to the paper it'll be time to add those to the glimmer system and get them hot foiled. I love this foil. It This one, the aura, the prism, the gold and the polished gold are the most beautiful foiling um, rolls that we have and look at this it's kind of a silver to gold foil and it just foils amazingly well I'm going to add another piece of this same foil and this is a what is this a four by five inch piece now the rolls are five inch wide so I just cut a four inch long piece of the foil and add that to the cardstock now there is a little bit of a gap on this five by seven piece of cardstock, but I did find that if you use a four and a half by six and a half inch piece, it will cover the whole thing without a gap in the center. I have foiled each of these sentiments and now we're going to reveal those. Smile, sparkle, shine. You are the stardust in my day and have a brilliant birthday. Love all of those. I did not foil them on the colored cardstock. I certainly could have, but I decided to stick with the white and we're going to die cut those with the circle so you can see all of those in the, all of their glory. We'll add those to the sun die there. I love that it has the beautiful little rays that actually fit quite well with the radiating rays that we foiled. It's amazing how well this has been designed. I decided to take some squeezed lemonade distress ink and add some color to this center piece that we're going to add to the sun. Just quickly applying the distress ink so that I have a bright yellow. I didn't have a cardstock that matched the cardstock that I used for the rays and so this was the perfect way to make that work out. I love that it's a nice bright yellow. I did want to deepen the center a little bit so I took some of this mustard seed distress ink that I have in a cube and I added that to the center of that sentiment and I love how that just makes it shine. I add a little coaster blank behind that circle and I'm gluing it to the sun rays and then I added a little coaster blank to the back of that also. Now we're going to take a piece of shimmery white cardstock that I've cut to four and a three quarters by six and three quarters to add a mat behind our cardstock that we have glimmer hot foiled and I had cut that down to four and a half by six and a half to create this beautiful main image panel. We're going to adhere this to a 5 by 7 card base made out of heavy white white cardstock and now we will finally glue our sun right to the middle. Now I'm looking at this and it just doesn't feel quite complete and so I decide to pull something out to add a little belt across the center to cover up that gap in the foiling and I decided to pull out the brand new stitched kaleidoscope die set. 
kaleidoscope border maybe and I cut this out of two different yellows I used a yellow gold shimmer cardstock some yellow cardstock and some white shimmer cardstock and I am layering these up together quickly and they are just stunning look how easily they line up if you haven't played with any of these layering dies there are several that have this kaleidoscope effect or this layering effect and it turns into this beautiful piece assembled very quickly so I'm going to center this on the card front I'm going to add glue in some strategic spots and adhere that down and I think it just goes perfect with this sunburst uh, radiating burst theme here and I love how that looks. I hope you've given those a try. They also have some stitching de details in those ovals. There's holes and embossed lines that help guide you where you should be stitching. But I don't actually like to stitch on my cards very much. Not by hand anyway with embroidery thread. Because it takes a lot of time. And I put a lot more time into other elements of the card. So this is how I like to use those kinds of dies. You don't have to use them for stitching. They're still beautiful even without the embroidery. Now it's time to adhere our sun again. And I'm going to add a little bit of coaster blank above and below this kaleidoscope border before I adhere it so that it is nice and evenly adhered to the front. This way it won't get floppy or saggy either on above or below that beautiful element that we've added. Now I've pulled out some yellow gems that I had in my stash and I'm adding them to the centers of those ovals. For a little extra bling, this card really just calls for all of the bling. I found some smaller gems in the same color that I'm adding to the centers of the other parts of that layered die cut out. Oh die cut element. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this card. If you ha haven't purchased the Glimmer of the Month kit, it is one of my favorites. If you're interested in any of the products that I use today, please check that description box below. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that now. And until next time, bye-bye.